Hi guys, what's up everyone? Good morning. So last time you saw us in Bali, now we're back in Dubai and during pandemic we were here. Uh, today there is no more lockdown and we are allowed to go out. So we came to Al Qudra Lakes. Yeah, so yeah, so we decided to come to this lake for a morning walk. It's getting a little bit hot already, so it's, it's quite early still. So yeah, so let's show you. So guys, we are walking now towards a uh, bird watching uh, tower and we're gonna take a small break because it's really hot. It's like 41 degrees Celsius. It's like, uh, it's really, really hot. So uh, Al Qudra is actually a group of man-made lakes. Uh, many lakes which are representing the main station for all migratory birds. So you can see flamingos there and all exotic birds, more than actually 200 species and uh, obviously they are not here now but uh, we saw some flamingos we saw a lot of ducks it's a very nice place good for exercising if you like uh, biking also walking uh, there's, there's this track you know which is uh, 86 kilometer. Yeah, kilometers yeah right. it's, it's so, really yeah. crazy yeah, it, it, it's quite good you know like but I would say maybe if you come here in the cooler months <laughs> because it's boiling yeah because yeah. yeah it's super hot yeah even even when we fly drone uh, yeah the drone was like, like overheating, overheating yeah. and we had to keep bringing it, bringing it back down so yeah it was a bit of an episode you know so yeah we, we have seen as, uh, as well some uh, some animals like uh, yeah they look like some uh, like uh, the, impalas or deers yeah they look uh, we like, really don't I don't know, know like bambi you know doing, like yeah yeah it was like a group like Bambis, it, yeah, yeah it was a group like mom dad and just a bunch of kids yeah but they're really fast so they run away uh, we're gonna check some uh, uh, love lakes yes there's a second lake here basically uh, it's a one giant lake uh, shaped in a way like two hearts go in one uh, we're gonna move now We arrived to Love Lakes and uh, we just stopped because we have spotted black swans. Let me show you. How cool is this? Wow. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah. I've never seen a black swan in my life. Yeah. And we're talking a bit like low because we don't want to scare them. Alright, let's check this place more. Let's go. Uh, so we have arrived to Love Lakes, but unfortunately, because of pandemic and uh, all these things, uh, gates remain closed, so we could not uh, go inside. But we got some footage and I hope uh, you're going to enjoy it. Basically, it's yeah, one massive lake uh, shaped into two hearts, which are like becoming one and a massive love sign. Uh, uh, like it's, it's amazing. It's... Uh, Amazing to see how one country can make something in the middle of a desert like this. So many lakes, uh, so many greenery, so many yeah, animals. Man it's, yeah. it's amazing. So I'm just going to show you, you know, like uh, how it kind of looks like from the top because I'm not sure if you would 
understand from our footage. I hope you can see this. I'm not sure. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, we're just next to it literally. So I guess after all of this, um, we're probably gonna get something to eat. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. go to have some Emirati food, you know, to keep a, a spirit of mm -hmm. desert alive. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take some Emirati food and uh, you're gonna join us as well. Let's go. Fana restaurant. It's a traditional Emirati restaurant. So today we're gonna order um, Emirati breakfast. Usually we eat Emirati food and we love it, but uh, today we're gonna eat something that we never eat before, and that's Emirati breakfast. After 45 minutes driving on this heat, I get sunburned. I'm very hungry. Nelly is very hungry, and this place is beautiful. It has this 1960 ambience. Uh, located in Festival City in Dubai and uh, we're gonna dig in. So now I want to try these three things here. So, well I believe these are just plain chickpeas. No, just plain chickpeas. We have some um, beans and um, omelette with the chili and tomato. Beans. Huge. Oh. Yeah, castle beans. Not much seasoning that I can, can feel really, but. Oh. So let's try to eat it in an Emirati way. A bit of bread. Keep it here. And oh yeah. So now I'm gonna try pancakes with marmalade, I believe. It's very jellyish. So let's try. Apricot mar marmalade. Not really sure. Oh, really? I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, it's really sweet. Yeah, it's really, really sweet. Yeah, but nice for a nice start of the day. Very sweet breakfast. I love it. This, this little dip here has a texture of mayonnaise. <laughs> mm. I thought it was yogurt or something like that, but I was completely wrong. <laughs> Tell us what you think. <laughs> it's like a spread cheese. It reminds me of Philadelphia, actually. <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, this one actually, I tried it, and at first I thought it was uh, something with date, but it's actually not. It's some sort of pudding or semolina. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, we haven't seen it in the menu somehow, so we're not really sure. So maybe if you're from here, you can maybe comment down below and let us know what exactly it is. But it's very tasty. It kind of has the flavors of like uh, cardamom or some spices, but it was very tasty. So yeah. Uh, no. This is a type of noodle, sweet noodle with just a plain egg on the top. And um, I've been wanting to eat this for the longest time. I keep seeing it everywhere, guys. So let's see. It's sweet, huh? I'm so surprised. I I usually don't like sweet and savory together, but this is like the perfect combo of like sweet and savory. You get the egg, the fluffy egg, and the sweet like noodle, and with the spices, the cardamom. I really like cardamom, so that's a definite win for me. Supposedly, it's supposed to be a, a, a date pudding. Yeah, it's a, it's a date pudding. Oh, it looks very creamy. Yeah, I didn't expect that. It's very creamy. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> okay, it has a taste of date. Date is smooth and um, almost 
like a type of yogurt type of like um, um, consistency and um, it tastes like date but I taste more spices than date actually I'm, I'm very shocked you know like um, and, um, yeah yeah and it tastes like um, cardamom again and um, very strong spices I don't even know what they are like uh, I kind of got like seven there's something called seven spice or something like five 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 star or I, I, I don't know guys you know but it definitely tastes very strong like like very very strong uh, aroma let's say yeah. my first karak tea so There is a lot of going on here. <laughs> so there is obviously milk, cardamom, black tea, some other spices like, like caramel. So we just finished our uh, breakfast and uh, it was different. Yeah, it was very different and tasty actually, surprisingly. Delicious. Yeah, very delicious. Yeah. Very delicious. So now we're gonna head home. And uh, if you are new to this channel and uh, you like it, please subscribe. If you knew, like some of the foods that we were eating and we couldn't really tell the names and stuff, please leave a comment down below and tell us what it was we were eating because half of the stuff we were not sure what it was. <laughs> so. We really want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, see you in the next one. Tiempo dirá, y cuando lo encuentre de ti no me voy a acordar.